let's talk about this. An 18-year-old who simply turned on the camera on his cell phone. Most, cam most cell phones these days have some type of camera on it, but that's just the beginning. Video cameras are becoming smaller. This pen even has a camera inside it. It's actually called the video spy pen. George Hemminger is a YouTube commentator. And George, uh, what do you think? Should I be considered a spy and face charges for recording a public official working on a public street? Well, I mean, for a YouTuber, I'm out on the streets all the time, and it's a very scary thing because I have my camera with me, and I consider myself a citizen journalist, as well as, um, you know, I, I make, uh, you know, different types of films, just entertainment films. And it's very scary because most people have cameras um, and uh, in their phones. So if they, if they turn that on and, and happen to catch a police officer arresting someone, are they going to be going to jail for seven months or, or seven years? Uh, it's actually shocking. I, I can't believe in America, a free country, we are putting people in jail because they are recording police officers doing their jobs. And it's pretty interesting. We showed this report of this case of Jeremy Marks, and it continues to get more bizarre, with more and more things being blamed on him despite the lack of evidence. I'm wondering, do you think there's a strategy here by police officers to try to retool this boy's reputation to try to deviate attention from what was actually captured on the video, which was an officer throwing a young boy's head against a car window? Yeah, I think uh, the I think uh, the DA had uh, egg on his face. The police officer obviously didn't have things under control. If you look at the video, um, you know she was. Um, I mean, she she was not the right person to handle this situation, and it got out of control. And uh, what this what what the message I believe that the DA is trying to say is, um, you know, if you. Uh, are interfering um, or are you try to record a police officer we're going to put you in jail and we're going to make a very high bail and we're going to make your life miserable um, and I think that what they were trying to do is send this message to you know maybe African American inner city youth but it upsets middle class Americans like me because I know it's putting a, a chill effect on freedom of speech and freedom of uh, uh, and freedom of the press. So what? CNN, uh, CNBC, MSNBC—they're the only ones that are allowed to film police. Common bread and butter Americans aren't allowed to use their camera cell phones. Uh, it's ridiculous. You know, and I think even CNN and MSNBC and other journalists and the press, uh, there's often been a contentious relationship between the police and press, but a lot of times poli uh, the press sort of follow these unspoken rules, it seems like. Uh, I mean, you know, to, to try to stay in good relationship w with the police officers, but to what extent do you think this can be changed? Well, I mean, we should have a confrontational relationship with the police. Uh, you know, people that uh, are free Americans should question abuse of authority. I mean, we, we don't want to be confrontational in the fact that we're, we're, we're interfering with an arrest, but there should be nothing wrong with holding up a camera cell phone and recording it. I mean, they have cameras on their on on their police cards, their their dash cams. They got uh, cameras on uh, major street lights here in Los Angeles. I mean, they have no problem recording an arrest themselves. But you know, if we want to record them, it's illegal, and we could be thrown into jail. Well, what happens if you're at a donut shop and you're recording a police officer kissing a baby? They're not going to put you in in jail for that because you know that's a positive. Uh, you know, that's a positive picture. But. Oh, only when it's negative. Then, then it's illegal. We're going to put you in jail. We're going to, you know, have these huge bails. Uh, it, it, it's, it's actually scary to me. It's scary to me that we've come this low that we have to threaten Americans uh, for just turning on their cell phone. Uh, you know, but a lot of police will argue, George. They'll say they can't best do their jobs if they're constantly having to worry about being watched or recorded. What about that argument? 
I would argue that if they have a camera on them that isn't their own camera, that it should encourage them to do their job with more restraint and to think about the things they do. Maybe they're not going to take out that baton and hit someone uh, when they realize that there may be someone holding a cell phone. Maybe they're not going to take a 15-year-old's head and bash it into a, uh, a, a, a bus window like they did in this case and knock the window out. I mean, obviously, if you look at the video, this gal uh, w was unsure of what to do. I think what, what they need to do is actually hire police officers that are from the local area that fit the general cultural, if not uh, racial profile of the people that they are uh, working with. And you know, y y you're having this instance where you're putting this lady who, who maybe doesn't understand the African American community, I'm not saying I do either, but you're putting uh, these police officers that aren't from the area, they aren't from the community, and they don't know how to work with the local population, of course you're going to have incidents like this. All right, George Heminger, commentator on YouTube, thanks for joining us.